Hey YouTube, coming at you with Nidoqueen, again, one of the Pokemon that used to be super strong, uh, but has fallen out of the rotation completely because Poison Fang got nerfed. So instead of just going 5-5 five and five with the Poison Fang, I think it's up to 6-6 six, six now, which is a huge difference uh, because Poison Jazz is what does the majority of the power of the damage. So uh, I tried it out, and you can just kind of see... The thing is, it's not even bad against the current meta, right? Because you have Meta Champ, which you resist to counters. Uh... Obviously, Psychic super effective, so you gotta watch out for that. But you have like Lantern, Spark is resisted so again, Surf is super effective there. Nidoqueen Queen is uh Noctowl, Noctowl. You've seen it, there's a couple matches in here where it just poison jab, poison fang. You can like shield and take switch if you want. So it's not you have the earth power for Registeel and Glaring Stunfisk and Bastidon, and you resist most of the moves there. So it's not in, in theory, it is not bad against the meta, it is bad because the poison fang nerf really really hurt how this damage is done with the poison jabs um so paired it with i started well and then re it came up to two teams i'm like oh this has a huge flaw in it especially with net queen on the lead so lantern here they get into metachamp right away which is interesting um i don't know really why they're doing that i think they think psychic they're gonna outpace me right so this problem so now it takes six to get to this poison fang which again still does a ton of damage i'm gonna end up trying to catch it over here uh the Psychic, because I know it would be resisted here. They can just go straight Ice Punch. I think I should be able to pace this Crunch, which is good. I'll be able to grab a shield or take this this switch back here. Um, and they shield. I know if they want, they could probably Ice Punch and counter down. So I am going to shield, thinking that I'm just going to outpace to the Aqua Tail, because that's all that I'm really going to need at this, at this range to take this out. And they double shield... I think at this point, I'm going to go down, because I think I could just commit to Nidoqueen, Poison Jabbing down, and then coming out with a bunch of energy. And they go up to go to Lantern, so I'm like, what are you doing? Um, anyways, good answer to Lantern in the back here in Swampert. Decided to go non-Shadow, because I don't like it when two Surfs take you out here, as opposed to this, knowing that I can survive this if I want. I will shield, because again, I don't want to go down to like the red. You can survive, uh, but I'd rather not go down to the red, knowing that I can get to the Earthquake and have a bit of energy coming out. And hopefully between Swampert and Nidoqueen, I'll be able to take out whatever's in the back here. Umbreon. Umbreon is a tanky one to try and take out here, but these Hydro Cannons should add up relatively quick. Looks like we did CMP there, hopefully, which is good. So I'll take this out and do a bunch of chip damage. No. I will be taken out, but I will do a, t a ton of chip damage here. Uh, and now it's the... I can survive one. And now it's making sure that they don't catch. So, get the earth power off. I don't think a poison fang would take out from this rage, because Umbreon's just so bulky, so let's just go for the nuke. And I'm able to poison jab down. So again, Nidoqueen has some play in this meta. Trevenant, like, Trevenant is not... A terrible matchup it was much 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 easier so before when it was just five poison fangs i've played the shadow versus trevenant matchup before and you could throw the poison you can take a move you can throw the or shield throw the poison fang on five and then if you threw it on five you can poison jab down before they get to the next move not anymore um and it's not even close uh so they come in and send a snipe with me i should have been much quicker on that but it actually was not a bad idea to let that go down, even though it wasn't truly on purpose. Because now I'm not switch locked. I'm going to be able to take switch here. Um, and then if I did that, I would have been switch locked on a very full Trevenant, which is going to win CMP. So now I'm going to take this out. And they're switch locked as soon as they come back with the Trevenant. So I am probably ready to, like, to tap on that immediately. As soon as I see that top right, goodbye. Out of here, take this resisted move set here. I like the Drapion Swampert uh, core in the back, quite honestly. I've used, I have Swampert coming in another team too, and I think it's a, it's with something like Swampert or Lantern and Drapion. I think those two make a very good pair, quite honestly. Uh, they try and catch on their own Lantern. Able to get the crunch off. The problem is like, it's gonna take, mm, I get to another one unless they throw, which is good. Uh, I gotta save the shield for Swampert. And I think that as long as I come out with a Hydro can, I'm good. Their defense is lower, so I should be able to just go double Hydro here. Hydro to take this out with the Mud Shots, and then Hydro to take out the Swampert, uh, the Trevenant. 
so again, it, it just as soon as they nerfed Poison Fang, it's just like every matchup got a, a so much worse. Like worse on the Metachamp matchup, worse on the Trevenant matchup. Um, like again, we're, it was just when you when you take away its main uh, option to to um, to lower the defense and then Poison Jab does so much, especially the Shadow version. You just like it really really limits this Pokemon. I still think it has play overall. Um, I'm just going to open up PV Poke to look at the straight up rankings. Um, I know Nidoqueen's dropped into like the top 100, 100 and yeah, 157 for Nidoqueen. And it still has, yeah, that's a lot more losses, 16 to 25. I think it still has wins. Yeah, it still says you beat Metacham. Uh, it says you beat Spark Lantern, right? I got to imagine that's baiting with a, yeah, I'm almost positive that's baiting with a poison fang and landing in earth power because i cannot imagine that if you only went straight earth power you're going to win or not okay so you actually win going straight earth power because you can survive one surf right so if you don't want to mess around with baiting there you can just go straight earth power in the one shield shield one surf they shield an earth power they land a surf but you survive and then you land an earth power to win right so that is not bad Metachamp, lantern um it says you beat Registeel, and I gotta imagine that. Well, obviously, you beat Registeel, you resist all their moves. Uh, so that is makes sense there. Uh, Noctowl even is a close loss as well. You just go straight Poison Fang. Um, you get the second one off, and they are down to 13 HP when you. So, you know what? Like, against the meta. Not bad. And I said the Trevenant matchup used to be great. You actually lose that now. So that's unfortunate, but that's still not terrible. Um, Water Gun Lantern, that makes sense that you're going to lose that. Um, and then, yeah, Glare and Sunfist, you get destroyed. Swamper, you get destroyed. Sableye, you're going to get destroyed here. So there are a, a lot of losses against the meta. Okay wins, too. It's not that bad. So that is why I kind of paired with, because your main losses are Stunfisk, Diggersby, Swampert, Sableye, Jellicent, which is the thought process, which was the thought process behind the two Pokemon here. Swampert will deal with everything I've said at the beginning. Stunfisk, Diggersby, Swampert, and and uh, Drapion will deal with Sableye, Jellicent. What I didn't take into consideration is if I see a Swampert on the lead. And so this is where this team doesn't work, is if you see a Swampert on the lead, you Drapion's already going to get destroyed by it, and you can't come straight Swamp or Mirror Match because you're already behind on energy. So two things, you either need to adjust. Uh, I still think Swamp or Nidoqueen is a good core. You either do one of two things. You either put Swamp on the lead, Drapion safe swap, Nidoqueen in the back, and you use Drapion as a safe swap to try and draw out Swampert. And with between the Poison Stings and the Crunches, you'll be able to chip a bunch or grab shields potentially. Or you replace Drapion with a safe swap that also doesn't get destroyed by Swampert. Those are your two options if you want to modify this team. I think Nidoqueen Swampert makes a pretty good core. Um, let's see what PV suggested teammates. Pelipper, Lickitung, Scrafty, Umbreon is recommended teammates. Um, so same sort of thing. Like I'm, I'm trying to think why Scrafty, Umbreon, Lickitung... Um, when your main weakness is Galarian Stunfisk, that's that makes sense for the Scrafty. You win Pelipper now because the wing attack buff makes you win. Spam those Weather Balls faster. Still uncomfortable. Uh, and I guess Lickitung Umbreon can kind of handle, will handle um, like Frostlass and and Wall Rain and stuff like that that I mentioned there earlier. So I guess it makes sense. Um, so you can try like a Lickitung safe swap. Instead of Drapion. Umbreon safe swap instead of Drapion. Not terrible. So that's how I'd modify it. Again, it's it's one of those things where it's like... It's, it's much, much, much worse compared to where it was. Is it the worst thing in the world? No. Um, does it still have play against some of the meta? Yes, I just showed you that... Just going straight Poison Jab, Poison Fang to Noctowl, you're going to win that. Going straight Earth Power against Lantern, you're going to win that. Uh, it's just that like some of those other matchups that you used to win before, 
are now just like hard, either either soft losses or because your wor- your bad losses have become like much much worse, and that is tricky when you're using a Pokemon like Nidoqueen that so heavily relies on. And yeah, Galarian Stunfisk is the same issue, right? I can't go. I'm just gonna get outpaced of these earthquakes. I don't know if I get outpaced, but earthquakes can one shot me. Earth Power does not one shot them. Um, so it's not a terrible because you just nuke there, take the earthquake if you want. I think I maybe try to shield and get too cute here, and then I try to poison Fang down, get into the move, try to poison Fang down. So I, I do think I try and get. And I think I grab a shield. Yeah. And then I thought I can poison. I think I remember that I get like three earthquakes off before I take this out. So I thought like, oh, double earthquake for sure. I can just I, their defense is lower for sure. I can take this out, and they get to another earthquake here. So I'm like, oh, that's unfortunate. That actually really surprised me. I guess I should probably count. Anyways, this game's over. So yeah, uh, limits for sure in the meta. I don't think it's like a you can't use it type of Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I just think that there are a lot of limitations with it now that it that it got nerfed. But if you want to use it, again, people gave recommendations for Scrafty, Umbreon. I think Swampert works good there too. Uh, Lick Tongue, I guess, has an option for another safe swap for this team. But that is the team. Um, we will surrender that one. I'm trying to, I'm just looking at the other videos because this, I've done a bunch of these now. Um, and this is going up. So it's kind of like my Pokemon that I've used that are still decent. I've done Beedrill. I've done Mew. Don't use those. I've done Umbreon and Lickitung. Yes, you can use those. I've done Altaria. Altaria, I'm, um, Altaria, I'm more hesitant on because of, Go, again, go watch the video, but I, I basically say, like, everyone's knocked out hunting, and Altera gets caught in the crossfire there. Azumarill, again, has play, but the moveset is now limited because Lantern. Cancel Ninetales, I got a team to work, so go check that out. And then Nidoqueen here. I thought there was one more Pokemon that I did. I don't remember it off the top of my head, uh, but I will bring that to you as well. Uh, Pokemon that... I tried Walrein. And again, that this little ice cold spear. Again, it, it's not bad in situations, but the problem is the meta right now with Wall Rain because Lantern is just such a like a huge issue for it. And then Bastion is just gonna smack it down, even if you could land an earthquake, it's not gonna matter. And like Registeel, Glare and Stunfisk with the Rock Side, it's just like oh, it's just so many. I say meta champ like meta champ's gonna just counter it. It's just so it's just tough with the meta with Wall Rain right now, um, as opposed to like Nidoqueen, where it's it's not tough with the meta. It's tough because of the nerf it got, right? So some of these some of these Pokemon are are like Altaria and and Azumarill are and Wall Rain are having a much tougher time because of the meta. Nidoqueen is is having a tougher time because it got nerfed, and that nerf has caused a substantial difference in the matchups uh against like even the non-meta pokemon so that is why it is is a little rough so that is it uh appreciate watching appreciate the thumbs up and comments and i will see you guys in the next one